Hello and welcome to today's April 29th daily news report. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now. You watch this channel each day because I keep you in the loop on what's really going on in Washington, D.C. with President Biden and the U.S. economy. So let's jump right in. The Biden administration wants to create a Ministry of Misinformation Committee to go after people that share misinformation. Only who gets to decide what's true for you and what's true for them as everybody on the planet sees the world and truth through a different lens? Uh, to me, this seems like something out of a Harry Potter movie. The Ministry of Magic, where we control you magically, right? Now, the truth is, people see the world differently, right? So Democrats look at issues one through one lens, and Republicans see the world through one lens. Independents see the world through a different lens. And so it's going to be really interesting to see what an a Biden administration sees as truth and misinformation that you may or may not agree with. As the midterms approach, Biden is performing horribly in many key areas. When polled on specific issues such as immigration, crime, and gas prices, Biden has less than 40% approval rating in these three areas, according to The Federalist. With numbers this low, it is doubtful uh, Democrats will have much success in the upcoming election. There's two things that really determine an election, and it's the approval rating of the sitting president and also people's uh, feeling on the direction of the country. Are we heading in the right direction? Are we heading in the wrong direction? If both of these are low, the uh, party that's in control usually flips about 30 seats Right now, it's expected that Republicans are likely going to flip between 60 to 100 seats in Congress. Now, some Democrats continue to argue that their best shot at winning is Donald Trump. What? Yesterday, Adam Schiff stated that there is ample evidence of criminality on Trump that was discovered by the House Select Committee, which is currently the January 6th Capitol uh, Breach Committee. Adam Schiff further stated that they will attempt to show that there were multiple levels of government who attempted to overturn the presidential election. In new evidence against Trump, uh, they're trying to prove that he had direct involvement in trying to overtake the government or create some kind of a coup. Now, you do need to keep in mind that Representative Adam Schiff pushed the, Ro the Russia collusion hoax every chance he got on TV, and then it ended up being completely fabricated. And so you just have to be careful who you're getting your source of truth from. But I wanted to share that with you because it's in the news. Progressive Democrats say that they will up the pressure on President Joe Biden to remove Title 42 after a judge halted its progress. They say if Biden doesn't do what they say, they will label him xenophobic, just like they did Trump, meaning you're afraid of other nationalities. They want the border to be rushed so that people can enjoy all of the benefits that we enjoy here in the United States. So basically, they're saying we're going to pressure Joe Biden until he gives in and allows people to cross into the border. They're expecting a huge surge at the border. I'm talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people every single month. But here's what Biden has said he's going to do. Uh, and so let's hear him out. Biden said he plans to have a long call with the president of Mexico to discuss options on how to better secure the border at the north end of uh, Mexico and the south end of Texas. Now, shouldn't this have been something that VP Kamala Harris was working on this entire last year since she was specifically charged with keeping the border safe? But now President Joe Biden has to step in and do that for her. A new poll showed 60% of the country wants Joe Biden's mental health investigated. They say he can barely hold a press conference and the United States enemies are watching. Now, I have to be honest. I watch these a lot on your behalf. I don't know if you watch them. 
but they are hard to watch. And it is concerning uh, to think about Vladimir Putin watching these or uh, North Korea or, or somebody that does not like our country. Let me just roll one snippet from yesterday. Of, uh, that will enhance our underlying effort to accommodate the Russian oligarchs uh, and make sure we take their, take their, their ill-begotten gains. <laughs> We're going to accommodate them. We're going to seize their yachts, their luxury homes, and other ill-begotten gains of Putin's kleptocracy. Uh, yeah. Kleptocracy. And klep the guys who are the kleptocracies. <laughs> but these are bad guys. I mean, bless Biden's heart, but he just could not get his words out. And now President Obama's White House physician is publicly saying that Joe Biden is showing signs of mild dementia, and he recommends that he be investigated by a team of medical doctors. This is Obama's former doctor saying this. Democrats have reserved around $33 million in funds to advertise ahead of the upcoming election. So Republicans have about $250 million and Democrats have $33 million. However, uh, they may not have uh, much to advertise if uh, Senator Joe Manchin continues to block President Biden at every given opportunity. So even if they want to do things and make change, it's like cinema steps in and blocks it. Manchin steps in and blocks it. Something comes up, they don't get the votes, right? And so Democrats are having a hard time even passing anything right now uh, and so a lot of their donors just simply aren't putting money up to get them reelected. As of now, uh, they are currently trying to pass legislation which would stop Republicans from blocking Biden's agenda via a filibuster. So basically remove the filibuster. Manchin, who describes himself as a centrist more than a liberal, uh, has not caved in any negotiations so far. So as we approach the midterm elections, uh, Democrats may not be able to get much done for the American people because of their fellow Democrats. In a recent interview, President Zelensky of Ukraine stated that Russia, uh, Russian troops tried to storm the compound where he and his family were staying twice. The Russians went as far as uh, hitting the compound with missiles, hoping that he was in there. Luckily, these attacks were not successful. Ukraine has now withstood more than two months of constant attacks, and Zelensky has urged the United Nations to respond strongly to Russia's aggression. However, it seems the United Nations doesn't really care beyond talking about it, and Zelensky is frustrated and said that he has to move every one to two days so that Russian military doesn't discover through intel where he's hiding. The Hill recently reported that new European, European Union laws could influence U.S. free speech more than even Elon Musk. Due to the internet being a global asset, most companies comply with laws from other countries, thus making America subject to European rule. Uh, if you've ever been on a website where it's forced you to accept a cookie in order to move forward, this was because of Europe and not because of the United States. These uh, new laws will become even stronger in 2024, which could force social media platforms to seriously combat disinformation or be blocked from doing business in Europe. Uh, they say that they want any kind of ad that's cultural, sexual, or religious to be blocked going forward. Uh, as you can imagine, here we in the United States, we have freedom of speech, but if we are dictated by European Union countries, then we actually don't have freedom of speech when it comes to the internet. The NASDAQ is on track to close negative 13% in April alone. It's really, really struggling. Uh, if this does happen, it will be the worst month since 2008 uh, when we started the Great Recession. As of right now, it's down over 20% since the beginning of the year. And Amazon stock fell 12% in one day and 20% in the last 30 days. This cost Jeff Bezos $20 billion, or roughly half of the cost of Twitter in one day. Ouch. I don't really feel bad for him, but these are huge numbers. 
In fact, Jeff Bezos said he couldn't believe the United States government allowed Elon Musk to buy Twitter just because he's a billionaire. Then Twitter users reminded Bezos that he himself bought the Washington Post so that he could control what people think via print media. <laughs> what a hypocrite. Biden says he wants to wipe out $10,000 of student loan debt per person. This would cost the American taxpayers $373 billion, which is equivalent to all of the welfare help the government has given over the last 20 years combined. It's just an astronomically huge number. However, many experts are warning that this could be equivalent to throwing fire on the, uh, excuse me, gasoline on the inflation fire. Experts argue that forgiving debt sounds great, but once you do it, it doesn't really get to the root cause of why people got into so much debt, and it would exacerbate the inflation we're already living through because that would immediately remove a stream of income for the federal government. Um, anyway, it's a good political pitch. I know there's a lot of people in the community uh, that would benefit from that. I don't know if they're going to do it. I'm just updating you on what Biden says he wants to do and what economists are saying could actually happen. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. I'm going to release a couple of other videos um, about the border so that you can go and see what's going on with the border. Also, I'm going to release about how they want you in masks while they go have maskless parties. Total government hypocrisy exposed. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. The month of April is almost over. Make sure to get your name in to be one of the winners of the $100 gas gift cards that Casey and I are giving away. We want to add one or two tanks of gas to 60 lucky winners, thanks to very generous video sponsors in the month of April. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you that you are amazing. Have a great weekend. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.